Hello everyone and welcome to our video series on place value. So I'm going to show you how the concept of bundling works. Um, so just some basics. Our system is called the base 10 system. And what that means is that every time you have 10 of a unit, that unit jumps to the next value. So if you have 10 ones, so think of 10 one dollar bills, that's equivalent to 110. And if you counted by tens, and you had 10 tens, that's equivalent to 100. And if I had 10 hundreds, that's equivalent to 1,000. So essentially this unit, this digit here, jumps. If 10 ones now becomes 110, 10 10s becomes 100, 10 hundreds becomes 1,000. So an example problem that some of the students have been working on is if you had 10 times four ones. What is that equal to in terms of ones? And if I bundle it, what unit would that become? So when I use my chart, I would make a place value chart. So let's go up to the thousands. So I have ones, I have tens, hundreds, and thousands. So I'm starting with four ones. That's equal to 4. Now, if I multiply that by 10, how many 1s would that equal? Well, 10 times 4 is 40. So this would become 40 1s. So think I use money as an example. If I had 4 1s and I multiply the amount of money that I had by 10, I have 40 $1 bills. Well, anytime you have 10 of a unit, the digit jumps to the next place. So 40 ones, that's what we have now, is equivalent or equal to four tens. And this concept is very important to understand place value. 40 ones is equal to four ten dollar bills. So when the students are working in a place value chart, this arrow shows that you multiply this unit by 10, the number of units. Four ones times 10 is 40 ones or four tens. And this concept is applied to all the places. So if I, let's start it with, let's use eight tens times 10 equals blank tens which equals blank so I'll set up my chart so ones tens hundreds thousands very important to set up a chart so that you familiar familiarize yourself with the different places. So I have eight tens to start. So I'm going to draw a little disc to represent the tens. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So it's $80. Eight tens. Times 10. So now I have 80 tens. which is equivalent to eight hundreds. And I write the word hundreds in word form to show the unit I'm working with. So now I had 80, now it's 800. And the concept is anytime you multiply a number by 10, that digit shifts one place to the left. So if I had 
let's say nine hundreds times ten. What would that equal? Well, I know ten times nine is ninety, and I have ninety hundreds. That's the unit that I'm working with. And 90 hundreds is equal to nine thousands. Because the nine has now shifted one place up. So here's my chart. It was nine hundreds, it shifted one place up to the thousands. So that's the concept. So look over this video tonight, see if it's helpful. Uh, please, uh, you can email me or write comments on the webpage if you have questions. And good luck, and hopefully this will be a great help to everyone. See you soon.